there's more food in the world today than is needed for everybody to have a nutritional diet. The problem is um, the distribution problem. The second is the spoilage problem. You know, 20, 30 percent of the crop is lost to rodents and uh, pests after the harvest, never mind, you know, before the harvest. So there are a lot of old-fashioned things that can be done uh, to achieve the same goals that are purportedly achievable by a technology that is messing around with some her tremendously complex variables and presuming that they're controlling these variables. Genetic complexity is very complex, especially uh, once it hits the marketplace, once it gets very decentralized and is, uh, is out of control of, say, the most rigorous scientists who developed the, the uh, product in the first place. When you hear about World Trade Organization or NAFTA, these aren't just mechanisms to reduce tariffs. They are systems of governance that are federal law, that are law for 139 nations who belong to the World Trade Organization. And these systems of governance uh, mandate that trade is supreme to all other considerations. And that if you are in a country that another country thinks has too tough auto safety standards or food labeling standards, they take you to the WTO courts in Switzerland and you lose. Uh, you are considered a country that has non-tariff trade barriers. That is, uh, you're a country that has auto safety standards that are more stringent than other countries who want to ship cars to our country. And so they say, oh, it's unfair. Your safety standards are really trade barriers and we're going to haul you to Geneva, Switzerland and you're going to lose. And the courts are secret. You can't get in them as citizens the way you can in our courts. They're closed to the press. There's no public transcript. There's no independent appeal. They're total kangaroo courts. And yet we have to obey their rules. We either repeal our environmental regulation or safety regulation that's challenged by a foreign country under the influence of some industry that wants to ship to our country, or we have to pay economic fines to the country until we obey the decree of the court. All this went through Congress without a public debate five years ago. Uh, Mr. Clinton pushed it, Mr. Gore pushed it, Republicans in Congress pushed it, and it was the greatest loss of local, state, and national sovereignty in our history. Now every treaty we sign, we lose some sovereignty. But not that comprehensive, and not a, a basic silent coup d'etat, which is what it is. We've now lost five out of five challenges to our environmental rules by other countries. Now, John Adams, our second president, put it presciently. He's not known for his quotable remarks, by the way, unlike his friend Thomas Jefferson. But one day... He, he was possessed of saying the following. This was 200 years ago. He said, our generation had to be composed of politicians and statesmen so that our children could become scientists and physicians so that their children could become artists and musicians. You see the trajectory? Look how far we are from that. See how far we are from that? In an economy that has increased it's output 30-fold since 1900. More and more people could be living off capital investment, not just the rich. Instead of trying to pay last month's bills with this week's paycheck, going paycheck to paycheck with no assets. We have to raise our expectation level because 100 years from now, we can have an economy and a technology horrendously greater than there are today. And we'll still have the results of age-old demonstrations of greed and corruption and all other human frailties that destroy life's possibilities for so many millions of people here and around the world. We have signed down to a system of governance called the World Trade Organization, which, in effect, turns on its head the tradition of our country, that we progress by subordinating commercial interests to the interests 
of human rights, workers, consumers, etc. Now it's the reverse. Now it's trade uber alles.